Okay, we're going to begin on the with the Mishnah on Samach Aleph on the days. Samach Aleph on the days. So, so yesterday we saw a Mishnah that said a Kayin should not marry an Islandess. A, a Kayin should not marry an Islandess. And the reason being that the Kayin is commanded in Pir Verivya. The Gemara immediately asked, and, and Bnei Yisrael, a, a ben, uh, a ben Yisrael is not Mitzvah in Pir Verivya, of course he is. So the Gemara answered, since the latter part of the mission was discussing a Rabbi Yehuda Shita that an islandess is a zona and only a Kohen is Mitzvah not to marry a zona, therefore we learned, and to be consistent, we learned Kohen in the Reisha as well. In fact, however, there are Yisrael's Mitzvah in Pir of Rivia. So therefore, the next mission is kind of odd because it's going to tell you there's a Mitzvah Pir of Rivia, which we know from the previous Mishnah. Says the Mishnah, a person should not stop having children unless he has children. And we'll see, what does that mean, children? Shame says, in order to be in the mitzvah, you need two males. Beisul says what? And we pass like Beisul, of course, you need one male and one female. He created other mechava, zacha unekeva barom. So we pass in that in order to be kind of rivia, male and female. There is an opinion of the Yerushalmi. I, I found it in the Me'iri. I heard it for shame, the Yerushalmi. Listen to this. That, of course, Beis Hillel agrees with Beit Shammai, you be Yoytze with two males. You're even Yoytze with a male and a female. You hear, this is the Chiddush Nifla, guys. In other words, of course, you be Yoytze, peer of review with two males. I mean, it's not popular. The Gemara doesn't give in to the, very, the, the feminist movement of Isbana Mezer of equality. The Gemara clearly says that to have male children is better than female children. There's much less to worry about. You don't have to worry about marrying them off. You don't have to worry about their chastity. The Gemara, that is better to have men, uh, male children or female children. Yet, so therefore, it would be, Shami would make sense. Not, of course, Beis Hill agrees with Beis Shammai, you need two males, but you would even be Yitz with a male or female. That's the Yushami. We don't pass like that. We pass and you need a male and a female. And Tosis just points out that even though we inferred the din of Pir Verivia from the previous Mishnah by Koyan and Islandis, you're hearing the Chiddush over here, you're hearing the Machloikas between Beis Shammai and Beis Hillel, which you didn't hear in the previous Mishnah. Okay, now, says the Gemara the following diuk, Hayesh Leibonami Pir Verivia, Batulmi, right? Amish Leibato. In other words, it says, if you, you're not Batul Pir Verivia unless you have children. Mashmah, you have your children. So you, you're bottle of Rivia, but you still have to be married. A man should not be in a state of not being married. Even though a man has many children, it's us of him to be without a wife. So therefore, even if he's Makain Mitzvah Rivia, if he doesn't have a wife, he should go ahead and get married. It says, it's not good for man to be alone. That's what by says by Adam when, when Chava was created. There's another way to learn. The girl makes a deal. Not only are you bottle pure of you also bottle bad from, from you don't have to get married. Name it having to you after Nachem and Amishmul says, like, Toy, hey, you're suddenly bad. It says, well, I ain't love bottom nice to Isha bass on him. If you have no children, you have to marry a woman who's fertile, who's capable of getting children. If you have children, it doesn't mean you can be alone, but you'd be able to marry a Sakena, a Chayla, or an Islandist, three women who are incapable, you would be able to marry her, but only after you have gone ahead and fulfilled the mitzvah. And Nafkamino, there's many Nafkaminas, but the Limcha say for Torah, fish filled Bonin. In other words, if you, if you don't have children, and it would cost you money to get married, you'd be able to, and you own the Sefer Torah, you'll be able to, to sell the Sefer Torah, provided that what, you weren't Mekai in the Mitzvah yet, and you have to get a woman to be Mekai in the Mitzvah. However, if it's just to get married, after you were Mekai in the Mitzvah, you would not be permitted to go ahead and, and, uh, and sell the Sefer Torah. Taisa says, just quickly, Baron Taisa quickly, Kleimar, Lahai Mil Sanami Nafkamina, this also be a Nafkamina. Avloika Sino, my Nafkamina, the Hub Taib, two Nafkamina, as many. If you, if you don't have children, you have to marry a woman that could have children. In other words, there are other reasons as well. But again, this is uh, even this reason you'd be able to, to, to get married, to be able to sell the safer pair. Now, my Tamay with Beishamai, Beishamai says two males. What, what's the reason for this? My Tamay with Beishamai, Yafin Mimosha. 
We learn from Moshe Rabbeinu. Dichsev, b'nei Moshe Gershom b'Eliezer. Moshe had sons, Gershom b'Eliezer. Notice the quote, fellas, it's from Divrei Hayomim. Notice the quote, it's from Divrei Hayomim. It's not from the Torah. Right, the Torah. So the, they, they, I saw the shame of Erel Chaner, that why did they, why they bring this Pasek? Guys, look at me. Very often in the Torah, it just doesn't mention females. We know all the shift Teikar were born females, right? They were born with sisters. We know that Kai and Behevel were born with sisters. But there's no mention in the Torah of sisters, yet we know they're there. So if you'd mentioned the Torah that Moshe had children, Gershom Eliezer, there's no raya that what they didn't have daughters as well. However, once you're bringing the positive Yom is simply a book of Yuchsin, then it would have mentioned they had daughters. And therefore, it's a, it's a, it's a clear cut raya that Moshe had no daughters. Now, so what's the raya? Moshe had no daughters and he was perished from his wife. We know after Mount Torah, Moshe did not live with Miriam any, or with uh, Tzipora anymore. So that's the raya that, the, in other words, Mekayim, obviously Moshe kept calling Torah Kula. How could he even perish me Ishta if he wasn't Mekayim Pir Verivya? Ele must be, you Mekayim here with what? Two sons, Gershonim and Eliezer. He must have been used Mekayim the Nitzvah. That's, that's Rabbi Shammai's raya. Rabbi Hillel, Rabbi Hillel says male and female. Yalfinu Rabbi Yasa We learn out from the creation of the world. Right from the creation of the world. Obviously, Hashem created a world. He created male and female. That's what he would want. Why does Beishamai not like a baby's tillow's lean? Why didn't we learn that from Bia Sada? says, You can't judge whether it's possible, where it's not possible. Hashem had to create a male and female. He had to have the, 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 the normal way to go ahead and reproduce children. So, of course, you need a male or female, but not to tell me in the future that that's the key of the mitzvah. The key of the mitzvah, in fact, like Moshe, like Moshe would be two, uh, two children, a, uh, two males, two males. Why didn't he not like a Beishamai's why Raya? Why couldn't he learn from Moshe? So, I mean, Moshe did this on his own. In other words, Moshe decided that he cannot go ahead and it wasn't he was Parish Meisha because he was Mekayim the Nitzvah he was Parish Meisha from his own Das and a very famous Gemara, Tanya we had this Gemara in, in Shabbos three things Meisha did and HaKadosh Baruch Hu agreed what's the three things that Meisha did guys this is the closest we're getting to uh, Agaratan Musech the Yavanis so enjoy it <laughs> <laughs> says, come on. So Pirish Mina Isha, he, he separated from his wife. The Shebra Luchas, he broke the Luchas. The Yom Echad, and he added one day. He added one day. We had the Gemara in Shabbos that Mount Torah was supposed to be Vav Sivan. Moshe added one day, and Mount Torah was Zion Sivan. Kaddish Baruch wanted it on, on, on Vav, and Moshe added, and Kaddish Baruch was masking. The Gemara goes through each one. Pirish Isha, my my darish. Why did Moshe Darshan to go ahead and and, and uh, come up with the fact that he can separate from his wife? So Amar Moshe said, "Uma Yisrael shleit dibre imam shchina el fisha." We know Hakadosh Baruch Hu by Matan Torah spoke to Klal Yisrael. He was going to give the Torah. He told Moshe that there should be shleisha may like balas separate for three three days before. Now, what do you see? They had men had to separate from the wives three days before, right? That was to ensure, that was to ensure that all the people were what were, were tahar. Gemara says, a man, if he it is, it is mighty zera, he goes to the mikvah and he's clean. So a man would only need one day. Why three? Because because uh, zera is viable up to three days. And after three days, it loses its shame zera. So if it's viable up to three days, it can be mitama up to three days. So if any man had had relations with his wife and the zero was in his wife, if it would come out within three days, it would be metamaha. So to ensure that even the woman with tame, with tahar, right? Therefore, why wow, we had three days? That's what we saw in Masech the Shabbos. So now, Moshe reason the following. If you're going ahead and you're separating, you're separating for three days, why? In order, so therefore, and why? Because this was the one time in history, Kai Yisrael will speak directly to the Shrina. The couple of his man, Amr Taira Al Tikshu Al Isha Ani Shemi Yuchelit Le Dibor. I am the Chol Shav Esha. I am unique that I, I speak to Hakadosh Baruch Hu all the time. Like Kavul his man, and and I don't know the time. Like Kavul his man, when he's going to speak to me, Allah has come of a kama that I have to go ahead and be pure. And he separated from his wife. 
and Kadosh Baruch Hu agreed. Shnemar, leich emar lehem. If the man Torah, go tell them. Shvu lechem lo lechem. Return to your what? To your tents. And vaata poy amidi madi. Guys, ain oil is because oil is the base. Oil is the wife. So when he said, go to your tents. Kadosh Baruch Hu was telling Chai Yisrael, go back to your tents. Go back to your wives. And then one, but Moshe, you poy amidi madi. You're not going back to your wife. Keep this pasuk in mind. In a few a few minutes from now, I'm going to bring it back to share with you a, a fabulous Mesha Chachma on this Pasuk, okay? It's very, very Kishmak Shat. Shibur es Aluchais. So, where do you know that Moshe broke the Luchas and the Kodesh Baruch Hu agreed? My Darish, Omar. Moshe said the following Uma Pesach, Shu Echem Mishish Meyais, Ushlesh Esli Mitzvais. The current Pesach, which is one of 613 mitzvahs. On the Torah, the Torah says, Kol ben Necher lo Yechaboy. Literally, any ben Necher, any Goy, Cannot eat from the Karim Pesach, but we darshan guys, any Ben, any Jew, Necher, who makes himself a foreigner. If, a, for example, if a Jew is a mumma to avoid the Zara, he's a rebellious person, he does avoid the Zara, he can't bring the Karim Pesach. So, Kol Ben, any Ben, any Jew, Necher, who makes himself a stranger to Avinu Sheva Shemayim, can't bring it. Hatara Kula, the Yisrael Mumarim, the whole Torah, not just one mitzvah. And the Yisrael Mumarim, by doing the Cheda Egel, Allah has come with a Kama, should they, they should not be a habit. The Hiskima Ledaitoi. And the Kodesh Baruch was masking to Moshe's Das, Hamachayim Dechsev, Asheshi Barta, that the Asheshi Barta, Vamresh Lakish, Amalea Kodesh Baruch Hu, Yasha Kochacha Sheshi Barta, Yasha Kochacha, it's good. Yasha Koyach, you broke it. So you see, he was masking. The last thing was Moshe added a day. He was he added a day. So, so what, what does the Pasuk say? Vayom Hashem HaMoshe Lech Elohim Go tell the people the Kiddash Tom Hayoyim Umachar V'chisub Simlaisum So Kodesh Baruch shows up during the day on a, on, a, on a Wednesday shows up and says Hayoy today, Umachar, because there's one Thursday. Hayom today, Ula Machar. And you should go ahead with Hibsum Zalsam. Now, when he shows up during the day, it's not a full day because we, we by here, we start from the night before. So we start from the night before. So what Moshe reads in the following. What did, what, what did Moshe say? The Kidash Tayom Umachar. Hayom Kimachar. Today has to be like, like the next day, like tomorrow. Ma Machar, just like tomorrow, Leila Imoi. The Lail is with it, the night is with it. Afayoim, Leila Imoy, it has to be a full 24 hours. The Lailo in the Nafik Lay, and already the evening has passed because you're coming during the day. Again, Jewish law starts the night before. Shmami no, Trey Yumi Levamio Idna. You need two days to start from now. Viskima Daito, and a Kodesh Baruch was Mashkim. So he pushed off Mount Torah by a day. He pushed off Mount Torah by a day, Mysha. By Mysha was supposed to be Vav, and he said Zion. So the hiskim would daito das hamakam, right? The leishar yeshchina at shabta. The kodesh brachu did not show up on Shabbos. Mount Torah was on Shabbos, and therefore it was masking. Okay, so back. So that was we got into this. We got into this just to go ahead. Right? The Moshe Moshe Rabbeinu by regarding the the re, that to tell me that Moshe was what he was Moshe midas. Why have we get into this? We actually. We couldn't learn from Moshe Rabbeinu because that that Moshe was separated from his wife was not necessarily the tzivu. It, it was the dasama. It was his uh, Tanya. Reb Nassan Oimim, Beishami Oimim, Shnei Zecharim Shnei Nekevayis. To be yoytz the, the the mitzvah of pure rivyon, you need two and two, two boys and two girls. Beishil Oimim, Zachar Nekeva, one male and one female. Am Rav Huna, my time to Reb Nassan that you need four. Ali Bed Beishami, Dechsev. It says, but Toisef Loledes Es Achiv Es Havel. It says, and he gave birth to Cain, and she, Chava, was Moisif, Ledes, Es Achiv, Es Havel. So you have an S is one, one with Hevel, and one with Cain. Hevel va Chaisai, Cain va The S is a, the S guys is a, a Reboy, right? Aleph Saf is a Reboy, it includes everything, it's the whole alphabet. And therefore, it includes what? Each one had a twin. In fact, the Rashi and Chumash says, by Toisif, Es Achiv, Es Havel, by Cain, there's only one S. By Hevel, there's two SM, that Hevel was a triplet. 
Hevel was a triplet. Kain was a, was a twin. Hevel was a triplet. That's Rashi al Taira. Anyway, Lechal Apachas, that is Reb Nassim Shita, you would need four children, two of each. Okay, two of each. Uksiv says, Kishosli Elokim, Zera Acher, Tachas Hevel, Kiyaragu Kayan. It says, when if the Kayan killed Hevel, so he went ahead and Hashem, she said, Hashem has placed for me one to take his place. Mashma, to be Yitzhak the Nitzvah, you would need one to take his place. That Chase took the place of Hevel who had been killed. Rabbanon, who say that only Zach and Akeva, I do you who come by this. She's not going ahead and saying he's taking the place to Mekayim kind of any mitzvah. In fact, Mad is just thanking Kodesh Baruch Hu that, what, that, that she had another child. If the Hevel had died. Tanya Yidach, Reb Nassim, Naima, the first Lashon of Reb Nassim was tremendous machmir, right? You need what? Four children. Another one here is a Mekel. Reb Nassim, Naima, Beishama Yoimim, Zach and Akeva, male and female. Even one. Like this, Reb Nassim is the biggest maker. If a person has one child, whether it's a male or female, you would be Yitzah, according to Reb Nassim. Amarava, my time with Reb Nassim, that you be Yitzah, I feel with one. I'll leave it to Hillel. Shinemar, like so, Bara, the Shevis Yitzara. The world was not created to be void. The world was created to be populated. And by having a child, you populated the world. So it seems that he's learning that this Pasig is an uptight shwad of Pir Verivya. This Pasuk is an uptight of Pir Verivya. So once you go ahead and fulfill it, right, with one child, then you make Pir Verivya. Again, we don't pass him like this. We pass him male and female. We also say, fellas, it is a mitzvah to have children. There is a mitzvah called Sheves from this Pasuk. That even a man would have one boy and one girl, there's a mitzvah to have more children because to, to populate the world. There's two separate mitzvahs. There's the mitzvah of Pir Verivya, and there's the mitzvah of Lashavis Yitzara. The world was created Lashavis to be populated. So if you, every child you have, you're populating the world, you're making the mitzvah of Shevis. So I'll tell you something, a Bichidish, that we're going to see that even though women are part from the midst of Pirvarivya, women are not Mechoyev in Pirvarivya, they are Mechoyev in Sheves. In other words, a, man, a woman doesn't have to get married. If she so desires, she doesn't have to get married. I, she gets, I, she wants to get married. A, a woman, Kodesh Baruch puts in a woman, uh, uh, like, she wants to get married, but she doesn't have to. A man, if he, if he, man, if he doesn't get married, they're going to ask him, you got to pay the price for that. A woman not. <clears throat> uh, we're going to see Bez Hashem, we'll get into it a little bit maybe, there's a Ran in Kedushin that says that since a man can't perform the mitzvah of, of uh, Peru of Ru without his wife, she would get uh, she would get schar from Messiah the mitzvah, someone who's uh, helping a person do a mitzvah, Messiah the mitzvah, but her alone she's not Mechayim, however the Sheves, to populate the world, she is Chayim, so it's very, that, that's a Dindra Bonan, she would have a mitzvah of Sheves, okay, I, I digress, Itmar, if you have a, a child when you're when you're a guy, gayer and you're megayer, machloik is whether the children that are in question are megayer with you or not. Pashas they're not. Rabbi Yochanan Amar Kain Pirvirivya, you would fulfill the mitzvah Pirvirivya with your children that were born when you were a guy. Again, you're megayer. You had children according to Beis Hillel, a boy and a girl when you were a guy, even though there's no mitzvah Pirvirivya. But for all intents and purposes, even though now they're not your children, because Gershon is Gaya Kutin Shinoil Dami, Rabbi Yochman says biologically you were Makayim the Mitzvah. Reish Lakosh Amar Loi Kayim Pirv Rivya. Reish Lakosh says you were not fulfilling the Mitzvah. Rabbi Yochman Amar Kayim Pirv Rivya. Why? The Havel the Havel you had children. It's a Mitzvah. You had children. Reish Lakosh Amar Loi Kayim Pirv Rivya. Gershon is Gaya Kutin Shinoil Dami. But Gershon is Gaya is Kutin Shinoil Dami, and therefore what? It's if what they're not yours. So. Uh, if he had children when you magai. Now, guys, a piyalacha, a goy inherits, a goy they inherit, a son inherits a father. But they don't have the halachas of, for example, the pishnaim of a bachar. They don't have the, the, the halachas of, of, of Jewish nachla. You know, they don't have the the, the branches of, of who inherits who, like we'll see in Yesh Neuch and Bez Hashem is Baruch. But there is a din of what? Of Yerusha, with the rice that a guy would inherit, would inherit his father. So now, if you had children when he was a guy, he does not have a Bechol in In other words, 
he, guys, he had a child when he was a guy, he converts, and now he has a child, a boy, from a Jewish woman, let's say. That child will not be Bechal and Achla. It might be Mukhiv and Pidyan Aben because why it's, it, it was the first out of the mother's womb. But the Inyan Nachla, it's not Pishnayim. You know why? Because he had a previous son. So just like by Pirva Rivia, that child previously is Moitzi, the father's mitzvah. Who are then over here? It takes away the fact that the child he has with the Jewess is what is not a Bechar because he has a previous child. It's not Rashis Oinoi. It's not the first love is seed. The Hohavile, Rashis Oinoi. Because it's a total new entity. So the same achloikis that we have by Pirvirivya, we have by what? By, by Nachla. Same thing. It says Rishlakish, he begins a new count. Therefore, he has to have two new children. And therefore, if the first child born will be Bechal and Nachla. And Rabbi Yochan says, no. Previous life, the Inyan Nachla, the Inyan Pirvirivya, the Goyim count. Oh. Says the Gemara. Gershon is guy called Shinala Dami, the Tzrich. You need to tell me Bachla because of the if you tell me what by Pirivia, but he come Rabbi Yechon, I'm Yishim doing Kara, and I'm Pirivia, part of a Ravan in him. So Taisa says not that the Mechuyev, but he has a Mitzvah that what that he had children. Avol the Inyan Nachla, the Lav Bnei Nachla in him, but the Nap Bnei Nachla, there's no Pishnayim. I'm a Moed the Leil Bishlakish. I'm saying he's Moed the Bishlakish. Kamash Malan. Via Mabahar, if you say only by what by by Pirivia, Kamash Malan Bishlakish. Avol the Nachla, but by Nachla, I'm a Moed the Leil Rabbi Yechon, and Tzrich to tell me both. Okay, so it's very machlokes uh, over here. Now, don't think for a second that Rabbi Shlokish, Rabbi Yochanan, is not whole Gershon is guy and can know the dummy. If you take a look, Tosfos says right away, Rabbi Yochanan on my kain pirvi rivia. Afa gad b'liin kama devarim amrin on Gershon is guy can know the dummy. You call maka mistabelay Rabbi Yochanan hacha kivin the menachu yusai since we have a goyim kain zaroi miyuchas the child is called after them. In other words, guys, uh, we saw early in the Masechta, and we'll repeat it over here. An Eved has no chiyas. Avram Avinu tells Eliezer, Shvu lechem in mechamor, am hadoim lechamor. In other words, there is no yachas. There's no yachas between a, an Eved and the father. There's no, no connection whatsoever. But a goy, there is a connection. A goy, his father is the father. Once he's considered a father, Linyan Yuchsen, that this is your father, who I didn't live in Rivia, it counts as my child. So says Tysus, don't think for a second Rabbi Yochanan does not hold of the concept of Gershon is Kayan Kat and Shalodam. Of course he does. But the Inyan Yuchsen, that it should be yours, Kalinyan Pirvirivya, since he's called after your name, I agree with that. Okay, that's, that's what Tysus says. Now, this is, look at this. Unbelievable. <laughs> the Chsam Saifa had a big problem. He could not figure out where in the Torah do we know the din of Gershon is guy and Kadosh Shnele Dami. Could figure it out. You can see you guys. Okay. Hachasam Saifa, I didn't put it there. You can want to. I, I, put, it, I put it away. Okay, come over here. Hachasam Saifa Bechidushav, Lavoy de Zara Kosav, Kiniskasha, Kol Yamav, Mehe, he all his days he had this question. Mehechin Hoytsi Chazal, Yvonne Mustafa Bez, Nagamara, Hod the Gersh in his guy, Gunshin Oil Dami, you and Sham. Like this is Meshach Chach, my guys, is Pashas Yaschanan, Perek Hei, Pesach of Zion. Uledaiti Pashit, says Amei Simcha, I have an obvious, I have an obvious place. The Yotzel Lehem, the Mestama He, Liyotz Mitzrayim, Noshim Harbei, when they went out of Mitzrayim, Shohayu Me'oysan, She'en B'nei Noach, Musar Melecha, they were from those that a Goy is not Mitzvahan, but a Jew would be. For example, the Avram Yechiach, She Godel Hadar Haya, Amram was the Godel Hadar, for Nasla Daidasai. Guys, Amram was married to his aunt. We know by now, Mesech the Yavamis, your aunt is Asa to you. Your, your paternal sister is Asa, to a guy is, uh, your, your paternal sister is, is Muta to a guy, it's Asa to a Yid. In other words, there are different relationships that before Matan Torah were. were 
Asar, Mutter, and you have to man Torah or Asar. And the classic case is what is, is Amram. Amram was Amram married his aunt. Yochebed was his aunt. So now, and he brings in Yuma, the Pasuk that they cried over them. Let's skip this for a second. If they weren't accustomed to going ahead after Man Taira to marry a royist, that were awesome. Why were they crying afterwards? We said above, how could the Torah tell us go back to your, your tents? Guys, how could the Torah tell you to go back to your aunt? How could the Torah tell you to go back to your sister? How is that possible? The ones that married, the ones that married their heiress, they're going to have to separate from. What do you have to say? The Gershon is Gaya Kikon Shinoila Dami. That a Gershon is Gaya is Kikon Shinoila. Therefore, they're like new people. Since they're new people, they're able to go back to their wives. Okay. Unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. So he says that why that he says that the reason why they're able to go back to their wives is because of is, is, is for that reason. That again, since they were like new people, so their previous, the wife was a previous wife. Now, Mustama, they'd have to Makadish them again. Mustama, they'd have to give them new Kedushin. Guys, but you hear, Rabbi Meir Simcha says a beautiful shot. And that's what I, I told you above. Lechemar, this is the pasuk that we said above. Lechemar lehem shulechem lechem. Go back to your, your tents. Now, those tents could have been Asa, they could have been Arayas. Elowat, you see, it must be that Gershon is Gaya, Kanshinoila Dami, therefore they're able to return. As I state in the Meshachachma, Pasha's the Eschanan, Perike, Pasach of Zion. Okay, so, but now, vis we have Machloikis, Reb Yochanan, who says, Gersh, uh, says, you don't say it in your Nachla, you don't say it in your Perivya, and Meshlaka says, in both cases, you say it. So by Nachla, the new child born would be get Pishnayim, and you would have to have. On male and female as a Jew to kind the mitzvah of of Piri Virivya. Asa Rabbi Yochanan Lareish Lakish. Asa we're parallel to the Taisus Lab Me Nachlan in them. Asa Rabbi Yochanan Lareish Lakish. The Asa he at that time Sholach. This is when Chizkiyahu was sick. So at that time Sholach Baroidach Baladon Ben Baladon Melech Pavel Baroidach. But now it says he sent Baladon, he was the son of Baladon. So you see his mucus after his father, right? So what do you say? You see that what? That he's called after him. So Kasha on Reish Lakush who says he's not. So Amalei, Reish Lakush answers to Rabbi Yochanan, When did they go him? Then it's Miachas after him. Niskairu, however, if he's Niskair, let him less chayas. Once the Gavis takes place, then what then? No longer. Once the garage takes place, no longer, no longer can what can you be miyachas after him? That's good, very good. Amarav, hakom moidim beevet shein lachias. Everyone's moida and evet has lachias. Look at the bottom tosis. Hakom moidim beevet shein lachias. The in the shtachrer and she's freed like kain pirivirivya. Meaning, if they had children, he had a male and a female, and he, and what it's not miyachas after him. Hakol moidim. Even Rabbi Yochanan would be moida. So that's a good ex- prime example of the example of the discrepancy between a goy and, and an evet. Okay. They have no chiyas. Tachsev, shvu lechem pa'im lechamari, Avram Avinu tells Eliezer, you stay here with the donkeys. Ama doim lechamar. Meisi vei, we're going to ask on that concept, that you say that what? That an evet has no chiyas. It says, ulit siva chamisha asabonim, ve esim avodim, and siva who was the Ebed of Nepi Boishes, who was the son of Shaul, had 15 sons and 20 Abadim. So you see, he had children. Um, Rav Achav Yaakov, Kippar Ben Baka. Don't think it's Miyachas after him. It's like a pari after, uh, after, uh, after, uh, after cattle. But it's not Miyachas after him. Ihachi Hachanami. Why don't you say the same thing over here by, by what? By the Akum. So the Mashani Hosam, you know why? The Yachsinu Bishmayu, U Davuen. Because we're Miyachas using names. No, it's what you tell me over there. You tell me he has sons. So what? So you're good. You tell me he has sons. That. So in, in other words, he has sons and a cow has an ox as a son. So that's the same thing. Frederick Mar so go him also. Why don't you say the same thing? And the answer is when we give names to Miyachas, the giving of the names show that we're Miyachas, that they're connected. But by Avodim, it doesn't say the Miyachas the names because they have no chayas. 
We have another place where Meyachas the Akam, for example, Bavuin, not only their fathers, but even their grandfathers. So you see, Hadad was the son of Tavimun, who was the son of Chesyon. So you see, we're Meyachas one after the other. So we see they have Chiyas. Hayashi uh, Bidamesa. Laymar, Itmar. I'm sorry, Itmar. Hayalay Bonum Meso. What about this is a f- famous question? You have children, they die. Are you kind of Mr. Pirivia? So if Huna Amar Kayim, Pirivia, Rabbi Yechon Amar Loi Kayim. And Rabbi Yechon says, You're not. Rabbi Huna Amar Kayim, Mishim the Rabasi, because he holds a Rabasi Svara. Dumb Rabasi, Ain Bain David Bo, Achi Kalak on the Shama Sheba Guf. Bain David is not going to come until all the Shamas of the Guf are, 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 are uh, emptied out. I ask you to go to Samech Gimel on the days. Samech Gimel on the days. Count up Rashi, 11 lines from the bottom. Samech Gimel of the base in Rashi. Count up 11 lines from the bottom. There's a Rashi, Diva Masol, Guf. Guf. Pargid, it's a curtain. Shechoit says, Ben Shechina Lemalachim. That separates the Shechina from the, from, the, from the angels. Visham, and in that Pargid, in that area, Ruchais Unishamais. There's Luchai spirits and the Shamais. The Sunas Shinivru Mishishim Ebreshis. This is where Akadosh Baruch Hu stored all the Nishamis that were created from Sheshim Ebreshis. Hasidus Li Nasein Bigufam, that will in the future be placed in, in bodies. Hasidin Li Baris, that will be what in the future. So that Guf is that chamber of souls. Guf is the chamber of the souls. Okay, back by us. So when is Mashiach going to come? When all the, the all the neshamas are emptied out. When they're all emptied out, so Rav Asi says, once I have that child in the world and the sham is out, so good the child doesn't live. But as Mekayim, the purpose of Rivia is to get those neshamas out of the chamber. So that's what Rav Asi says. Ain bein David Ba, but Shlom is not going to come. Actually, Kalu kol neshamas shevaguf until the all the neshamas are going to be what uh, come out. Shneimar ki ruach mufanai. Yatoif, Kirok Funi Yatoif, and the Pasik says, When the Shamais and your CC. But Yochanama, like Kain Pervivia, the Shabbos Yitzar Binan. You want Makain Pervivia. You know why? Because the purpose of Pervivia is to the world should be populated and the child dies. You didn't populate the world. So that's Machloikis between between Rabbi Yochan and Rav Huna. Again, Rav Huna is saying, like Rav Asi, you would yitz if the child died. Rav Yochan is saying, like, like, uh, that the purpose of creation of Pir Riv is, is to populate the world, and now if the child dies, you don't populate the world. Volaka, and you don't have the child. Macy Bay, Ami Bays, Macy Bay, Bene Bonim, Hare Haim, Kibonim. Bene Bonim are like Bonim. Let's see Rashi the Havamina. Kesal Kedaitach, Shem Mesa Zacha, Oyana Keva, Bahoyle Ben Shayit Starif, Im Aches Aviv, Oyam Achasim, Oy, in other words, B'nai Bonim, grandchildren, are like children to take the place of a child that dies. So therefore, that's a raya to Rabbi Yechanan. You need the grandchild to take the place. Because according to you, Rav Huna, once they're in the world, you don't need anyone to take the place. Again, guys, we're saying it in. B'nai Bonim, grandchildren, Harihim Kibonim, they're like children. What's the Havamin of the Gemara? That if you lose a child, but that child had a child to take its place, then you yitz to the mitzvah. Mashma, if you didn't have a child to take its place, you would not be yitzah. But according to you, Rav As- you, according to you, Rav Huna in Ravasi, once the child is born, there's no need to take a place. Kasha on Rav Huna. Kasha on Rav Huna. And for the Gemara, no, you, you have a meaning of it's wrong. Kitanya hi la hashlim. Kitanya hi means to be mashlim. What does that mean? It means that you. You only had one child. You had one child. But that child, let's say you had a male. Then that child had a had a what? A female. So B'nai Bonim Harihim Kibonim, that female will be mashlim your chief to have two children. It's not pshat, guys. Here's the havenina. You have two children, one dies, and the grandchild is going to take its place. No, 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 no. You're talking about you only had one child. That one child then had another child. And let's say you are a male, and that child's a female, so now, la hashlim, it'll be mashlim yochiv. 
That's what it means. But not that whack. You need to go ahead and if you had two, initially two children, you need one to take its place. Because once it dies, it's finished. This is speaking about you only had one child and you need a second, and therefore the second child would be mashed. That, that's, that's the pshat. Mesevei. V'nei bonim harihim ki bonim. V'nei bonim alik bonim. Mesech mehem. If one of his own children dies, or the child turns out to be uh, um, sterile, you're not Mekayim Pirvarivya. Obviously, in Ofana, Ofana, Kasha, Tiyufta, Rafuna, Tiyufta, in order to be Mekayim Pirvarivya, one would have to have two children that would, what, would survive him. Samba thought. When Ibn Mari came Kibanim, getting into the sugya of grandchildren are like children, Sava Bayal Neymar, Bra Libra, that a, a son would take the place of a son, Ubarta Libarta, and a daughter would take the place of a daughter. The culture came bro libarta, and certainly a son could take the place of a daughter. That's and the avobarta libra no, but a barta to bro not. This would be in line, fellas, with the with the miyushalmi we spoke out that of course you yoyt to the mitzvah with two sons. You know, right? Why did why did, why did we, the the yushalmi say pshat in Beis Hillel? Not only. Not, of course, you yaitzah with two sons, but you'd even be yaitzah with what? With a son and a daughter. This would make a lot of sense in this Gemara. It says over here, you'd be yaitzah daughter to daughter, son, son to daughter, right? And even, kol shakain, if your daughter, right, uh, was, dies, but she left a son to take the place. So what's the kol shakain? I don't, I don't Guys, watch. I have a son. I have a daughter. Not me. One has a son, one has a daughter. The daughter dies, but she has a son. Call Shekin Yaitz in the mitzvah. Why? Why? It, oh, it's with your shami, it's very good because you hold it. you hold like shami. But even, but even a daughter would so that would fit in very good. Now there's a girsa over here. If you notice, there's an aleph that says it goes to the Hagoyas Hagra. If you go to the side of the Gemara, Hagoyas Hagra. The Gra says, Ubarta or Barta, Nira Baina, Girsus Rambam. Ava bro le Barta, but a son to a daughter, Ubarta le bra, or a daughter to a son, Loi. In other words, it has to match up perfectly. It has to be, 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 match up purpo- purposely, and this would answer the Kasha on Tysus. This would answer Tysus Kasha. Let's see Tysus Kasha. Look at the top Tysus. Kosh came bro le Barta. I forgot that mean L. Ancient is the Chorum Kashuvim Kiben Ubas, even though we said that two males, and I'll Kashu like a Ben Rabas. In other words, how could you have how could you have a daughter, son, culture came? Now I just explained the very Gishmak with the Yushalmi would be Gishmak. But however, Hacha Shabami Koyak Misha Patrasa mit Pervarivia over here, since the son comes from a daughter who Patan Pervarivia, she the the Kosh the Kosh Shaper had been the Makam Abbas. A Svaru to be. It seems to be the svara would be since you were yitz in the mitzvah with what with the daughter already. Now you're having a son that comes mikoyach. You were yitz in the mitzvah. Then it's better than what if you it was only two sons to begin with because it's coming mikoyach the one you yitz in the mitzvah. According to Tais, according to the gears of the Rambam, the whole thing doesn't start because you need a you would need you know, a daughter to a son, a son to a daughter. You would need you need you would need the you would need that you not you won't be yitz. According to the gears of the Gra, you will not be Yitzha. Right. I will brawl the bra about the battle law, you will not be Yitzha. So guys, you hear the way I learned with you, Shalmi, it's very geschmack. I, I like it very, very much. One more time. The Gemara is saying the following. If one, uh, if you have a daughter and she dies like Elena, but left the daughter, you're good. If you have a son who Loyalena dies and leaves another son, you're good. If you have a daughter that leaves a son, culture can you're good. Now that doesn't, that's Tyson's problem that the Ramam says, in fact, it's not good. The Ramam says it's not good. But like the Girsa of the Ushalmi in Beish Hillel, it would be very, very good. Because what did Beish Hillel say? <laughs> of course you're Yaitza with two sons. Of course you are. But you would even be Yaitza with what? With a son and a daughter. So what's happening now? There's a culture came. Since Bithi Heaven, you hate with a son and a daughter. If the daughter dies and gives you a son, you're going to the level in the first place of two sons. 
It's a very gishmak of shot. It's a very, very gishmak of shot. I, I like it very much. Of course, because I said it. No, <laughs> I just thought of it, guys. It's, it's very, very nice. It's very, very nice. Okay, an inviter. I'm like Rava. Says Rava. The Shevis Yitzara. Boy, for Ika. Okay, so in other words, why why you coach came by the bar to Lebra, but a daughter to a son that no, the daughter takes born to a son law. I'm a lay rubber, why not? The Shevis Yitzara, boy, boy, Ika. That also should be Yitzah, even if it's a it's a, a son to a daughter, a, a daughter to a son. The Kuliyama Mios, Tre Michad Loi. Everyone needed that. This whole Gemara is predicated upon that you had two children. What happens if you have one child and that one child gives birth to a, yeah, let's say you have a daughter, she gives birth to a male or female. Let's say you have a son, he gives birth to a male or female. Everyone says, not law, you would not be Yitzhak in a mitzvah. Ayva Amalei Rabbonon Lerav Sheishes, Nasib Isisa, Va'olid Bonai, marry, they told Rav Sheishes, go ahead and marry a, marry someone and have children. Va'amalehu and Rav Sheishes said, B'nai Barti, my daughter's sons, Bonai Ninu, they're my sons. So Masha Rav Sheishes held, he, Masha Rav Sheishes had one daughter, and he held that what, that the children born from that one daughter would fulfill his requirement for Pirivirivya. So you see even one to two, not just two to two. There of Sheshis was giving them the, the foot. She was just going ahead and pushing them off. In other words, he really held that he wasn't Yaitza, but he just, he just gave them an answer. What? Why? Rav Sheshis, the Akami Pirke de Rapuna. Rav Sheshis became sterile as a result of the sheer Rapuna. Rashi quotes guys in Gemara and Bechiris. If a person has to urinate and he holds it in too long, it could affect his, his ability to have children. So therefore, if Sheshis, the cover of Huna, he was giving a very, very long lecture. He was accustomed to be in the lecture without going to the bathroom. And as a result, he became an akar. He became someone incapable of having children. So therefore, he didn't want to deal with getting, telling me to get married, to have children. So he simply told them, my one daughter took care of it. But in fact, he didn't hold that way. What does the thing about the Rabbanan say? It says, Lavan says, your, your daughters are my daughters, and your sons are my sons. Your son is my son. What do you have to say? Your son is my son because you bought it for me. Hachanami, the kindness me nice. So, too, your daughter is my daughter, and your sons are my sons because why I gave them to you. Elami Hacha says, Vacher boy chet now. Mach, guys, Mach here is from Shevet Menashe, and Chetzroin is from Shevet Yehuda, and Mechaikek, the law gives are from Yehuda. Vacher boy Chetzroin el bas Mach here, Avi Gilod, but Tedel lo yes Seguv, who could see if meaning Mach here, Yordu Mechaikim from Mach here. Who was what? Who was Menashe? Came out Mechaykim. Who could save Yehuda Mechaykek? If now Mechaykim have to come from Yehuda, how could they come from Machir, who was from Menashe? So it has to be that we're considering the grandchildren of Machir as if he that were fathered by Chetzrin and from Yehuda as if they're Machir's children. So that's how Bnei Machir from Menashe could have a Mechaykek. Why? Because Bnei Bonim. Again, Chetzrin had a child in Yehuda, but they born him Harihim Kibon, and we can consider like what? Like Machir from Menasha had him a Chaykik. So you see from Yehuda, you would have the Bnei Bon Harihim Kibon. My sister, like Rabbi Shua, our mission is not like, is, is not like what? Is not like Rabbi Shua. A mission that said, Elam Kane, what? If Yeshle bottle, we said that what? If, if he has children, he's bottle from Pirvi Rivia, not like Rabbi Yeshua. The Tanya, Rabbi Shua, I met. Nasa Adam Ishta Isha Bialdusai, a person marries when he gets young. Yisa Isha Biziknusai, she marry when he gets older as well. Hayulay Bonin Bialdusai, if he had children when when he is young. Yayulay Bonin Biziknusai, you should have children when he gets older. Shnemar, Baboike Zara Zaracha, in the morning you should go ahead and, and plant your seed. Ula Erev, Al Tanach Yatcha. Kiencha Yudea, Eze Yichsha, Eze, Em Shnem Kecha Naitim. In other words, Baboika, fellas, when you're young, Baboika, when you're young, have children. Ula Erev, and even when you're aged, you should go ahead and fight to have children, because you never know which are going to be better. You find in the Torah, uh, after Avram Avinu, despite his old age, fathered Yitzchak, he married a woman named Keturah, 
and they had a bunch of children from Keturah to Mikhaim, this, this idea of a person having children throughout their lifetime. Now, Rabbi Rosenzweig is going to go out of his mind in a second. So everyone, I don't know if you could see him. Rabbi Rosenzweig talks so everyone can see you. Okay, good. It's going to go out of his mind in a second. Rabbi Kiva Oimer, if you learn Torah when you're young, you should learn Torah when you get older. If you have Tamidim when you're younger, you should have Tamidim when you get older. Shinemar, Baboyke Zer Zeracha, Uber Vatan Chiatra. Hamu Shneme Selef Sugim Tamidim Hoyla Rabbi Akiva. Rabbi Akiva had 12,000 Tamidim. Me give us Adan Tapirius from the town of Give us to Antipirius. The Kula Mesle de Perkechad. And they all died in the same Tkufa. They shall know who covered Zelizer because they weren't Nogu Kaiv each other. And the whole world was desolate. Till Rabbi Kiva came to the Chachamim of the South, the Shanam Lehem and taught them Torah. And who are they? Rabbi Meya, Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yosi, Rabbi Shimon by Yochai, Rabbi Lazar ben Shemua. The Heim Heim Hemidu Torah. These four Talmidim, these are the Hem in Torah, they, they give the Torah. Oisa Shah, right? Oisa Shah. Tana Kula Mesa Pesach by that Seres. They all died when? From Pesach till at Seres. It's unbelievable. And Amrav Chama Baraba, Vitim Rav Chia Baravin, Kula Mesa Misara, they all died a terrible death. Maihi, Amrav Nachman, Askara, they died from the Misarat of, of Askara, which is time to the terrible death. We said it, it, it starts in the throat and it makes its way down the stomach. So again, such a, we're going we're gonna to stop over here. We'll just, just elaborate a little bit. Again, just the, the eerie, Certainly not a coincidence. How many times in this hadron we've come along that the daf yomi coincides with with events, and it's just it's unbelievable, guys. What is the chance of this happening? Learning this gemara mamish in the time being Pesach at Seres, exactly when it happened. So first, two 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 hours. One, why did they die? It seems to be like like why did they die? You're not know you covered to someone you mechuyiv misa. So, you know, it doesn't stay in the Torah, Yom Chuyiv Misa, in any one of those things. Why'd they die? So I heard B'Shem of Aaron Kotler, Zechat Tzadik, Kotler Shlebrach, Hazkos Yagan Aleinu. So these Talmud and Rabbi Akiva was the Messiah of the next door. They were the Messiah of the next door. In other words, Torah is all the Messiah. We give it over generation, generation, generation. These are the Messiah. If you are not covered, no, you covered from each other, that's not the Torah. The Torah is all about covered. The Torah has to be with giving cover to each other. And if you're learning Torah and you don't have covers for each other, that's not the Torah that a Kodesh Baruch Hu want passed on. He didn't want that passed on. That's not the Torah. In other words, Torah is not just, just something we received at Sinai. There's, 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 there, are, there are protocols in Torah. Like, there are Heretz Kodmu the Torah. The meaning, doesn't even have to say it. The Torah doesn't speak about Midas because it's understood that unless you have Midas, there's not be Torah. If you can't be knowing you cover yourself, Ain't, there's no Torah. Their Torah had to go on. He had to kill them. They couldn't go on. That's one point. So I think it's, 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 it's valid that it's not just learning that, that's part of our lives. It's, 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 it's how we transmit the Torah, how we love the Torah, how we live the Torah, how we give cover to Torah, how we cover, cover the people who learn Torah. It's all part and parcel of the Torah. Covet is inherently part of the Torah. And if we can't give cover to people who learn Torah, and we can't have cover for each other, that's not the Torah. Therefore, it had to stop, and it did. You're Rabbi Akiva. You're an elderly man. Rabbi Akiva started learning Torah at 40. He amassed all these Talmidim. He amassed all these Talmidim, the Gemara Nidorim. They came, Rachel, Shaliva Shalah, Kula Shalah. We'll see the Gemaras. Can you imagine your whole life's work being flushed down the toilet? Everything gone in a second. 24,000 Talmidim. 24. It's, it's unbelievable. It, it doesn't say 24,000. It says 12 zugas. In other words, he put them together. Rabbi Kiva put these zugas together. He, he made them, he made, he made them charusis. Hopefully one would be mashpi on the other. No, didn't work. Everything lost. If you're Rabbi Kiva, who would have gone ahead and, and felt that Rabbi Kiva had every right to go ahead and just call it quits? It's not what he did. He didn't give up. Rabbi Kiva gave us and showed us so important. He never give up. He always put in your kachos. What did he do at his advanced age? He find five Talmidim. Reb Meir, Reb Yehuda, Reb Yossi, Reb Shem Ba Yechoi, Velazad Ben Shamua, five Talmidim. And what does the Gemara say? Ve'heim heim heimidu Torah. 
All Torah came from them. All we have in Torah is from them. Rashi tells us that all of the Mishnayas, all Torah is Lord Rabbi Akiva. Stam Mishnah is Reb Meir. Stam Mishnah is Reb Meir. Where did Reb Meir get it from? He got it from Rabbi Re- 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 Yeshua. All these times of Rabbi Re- Akiva. All the Torah, the whole Torah is Rabbi Akiva. And all because he didn't give up. Such a great, great lesson to all of us, I think. Fantastic. That people don't, no matter how tough things get, no matter how you work your life at something that hasn't worked until now, never give up. You never know. You, you never know. I'm saying, you, you know, you just work at things. You keep things. You just just work at it. You never you never know what's going to be. And, and you say, I can't change. No, you could change. You could say anything. There's nothing that you can't do. If you, if you in David I think it's a tremendous tremendous thing for a big keeper. Okay, wish you all a very good day. Thank you for listening. All the best.